Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vista View Park. It's about 35 miles from where I live, but it was about an hour and a half commute. And if you've never experienced a Miami rush hour on a Friday, yeah, go ahead and think about giving that one a miss. Hey, good morning everybody. And like I said, welcome to Vista View Park. It's about 35 miles south of where I live, even though it took an hour and a half to get here this morning. It was a terrible, terrible rush hour commute. So like I said, if you don't ever have to participate in a Miami rush hour, don't. You're not missing a thing. Well, behind me, you're looking at the tallest hill in South Florida. It's 65 feet or maybe about 21, 22 meters. And that's the highest uh, elevation other than a man-made building here in South Florida. Actually, it is man-made. It's not a natural hill. What we're standing on is an old uh, landfill, garbage dump. And since Florida's so flat, it has nowhere to go except up. So they've built this up. And I guess uh, once it gets to a certain limit, they close it down. And they put pipes into the ground and vent all the gases. And I guess once uh, most of the gases have escaped, they turn it into this beautiful recreational park. Tons of people are here exercising, like I should be, uh, running and exercising, and it's just a fabulous place. It's the only place I know here in South Florida where you have a little bit of a, a view, a vista. It's amazing. My friend Mozam showed this to me a couple months back, and I actually came back after that to try to do a vlog from here. And I got here and it was a COVID-19 testing and vaccination site, so they had it shut down for a while. Uh, but I had some dark, moody clouds this morning, a little bit of rain. And uh, right now it's gone a bit gray, but I have all day, so I'm going to kind of wait it out. I have the sun breaking through right now, so hopefully it'll uh, give me at least a little bit of texture, a little bit of color in these clouds. And I'm going to redo the shots that I took while I was here last time. We always think we can do better, right? So... <laughs> And I'll apologize ahead of time if there's some airplane noise. I'm kind of right in the uh, flight path for the Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. So I'm going to wait it out, see if we get some texture in these clouds, and uh, yeah, see what we can get here. So one of the best things about this park is that there are burrowing owls everywhere. I don't know if you can pick it up on the, this camera, but he's sitting on the top right front post. Just a little brown and white burrowing owl. So I'm gonna try not, I got my 70 to 300 on here. I'm gonna try not to get too close and piss them off. All right, guys, I had to put the camera away for a minute. Uh, any texture that we had in the clouds has gone away. We had a little bit of a downpour, so put this camera away, covered up the vlogging camera, and it's gone now, but now we're just completely gray again. I'm just, there's maybe a little bit of texture in there. This is uh, not going as planned. Even if it doesn't, I'm gonna wait. I'm just taking shots, you know, who knows? I might be able to pull something out in Lightroom, but uh, it's just an awesome view to finally have like some vistas, a couple lone trees, and uh, the burrowing owls. And anytime anybody walks by, boy, they start making all kinds of noise. All right, I'm just going to wait it out, and uh, hopefully sun breaks through a little bit, clouds separate just a bit, and we get a little bit of color. Or mood. I don't care which one right now. All right, guys, let me, uh, while I'm waiting here, show you the scene that I'm trying to capture. So I'm trying to capture this lone tree. Right up there although it's not a lone tree there's a grouping of trees right next to it and if I change the composition all right so if I move my composition a little bit more to the right those trees that are farthest on the left you can see it's actually two trees but the way I have my camera set up to my left here the trunks kind of align with each other so it looks like one tree you know sometimes in Florida that's about the best you can do when you're trying to get a lone tree all right so I'm starting to finally get a little bit of texture in my background behind the tree there so I'm gonna take a couple different shots I'm gonna do like I did in my vlog last week 
uh, where I tested uh, exposing to the right. I'm going to start out with using just the camera's light meter. I'm going to set it for zero EV, you know, kind of the perfect exposure that the camera thinks for that scene. And then I'm going to take a shot that's completely exposed to the right. And then I'm probably going to do a three or maybe even a five shot bracket, but I'm going to expose that to the right as well, more than I normally would. So just kind of like in the vlog last week, if you happen to see that. If not, I'll link it right here. Even at zero EV on my camera screen, I can't really see the texture in the clouds. I'm sure it's there. Hopefully the Sony a7R 3 is going to capture that. My eyes can see it. My old 51 year old eyes can see it. Hopefully this beast can capture that. I'm going to take the shot again at zero EV. It looks pretty good. I still can't see a lot of the texture. All right, so I'm going to expose all the way to the right, stopping right before I clip 100% of the highlights. It looks terrible on the back of the screen. I guess this is just a process of learning to trust this method. I'm not there yet. Oh God, that looks terrible. But like last week, it turned out good. So fingers crossed that this turns out all right too. All right, then I'm gonna set up a three shot bracket to start with. Again, exposing a little bit more to the right than I normally would. So the first shot's gonna be zero EV. Second shot's gonna be uh, one stop overexposed. And the second, third shot will be two stops overexposed. All right, like I said, I guess it's just a trusting process. So uh, we'll have to wait till we get home to see how those look. <laughs> because it looks terrible right here. I think that's the best I'm gonna to get today. I just looked at the radar and it's supposed to be like this for the next couple of hours and then some heavy rain moving in. So I'm gonna move right over here. I'm gonna to go to back to my original location and see what I can get from there. There's another tree uh, that I saw as I was coming into the park today that I wanna take a look at. And uh, if anything, I hopefully got a couple of cool shots of these little burrowing owls. All right, let's move over to this next location. All right, guys, I think I got some good shots here at the first location and then this location. It's hard to tell. It's one of those overcast, hazy days where it's just bright and it's hard to tell on your view, in your viewfinder or on your LCD screen what you got. I don't know. I can see it, so I'm sure the Sony a7R 3 can see it, um, but won't know until I get home for sure and uh, put it in the Lightroom and check it out. I have one more location that I saw on my way in, so let's move over there and see what we can get. And after that, I think we're about done here. So let's uh, let's move. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in this week. I'm gonna wrap it up from Vista View Park here in Weston, Florida. Hope you enjoyed the video today and hope you enjoyed the look at the highest elevation in all of Southern Florida. Uh, hope you enjoyed the photos. I'm gonna put those up at the end of the video here today. I think I got a couple good ones. It's just kind of one of those days where you look at the back of the screen and you just do not feel like the world's best photographer, but I think I got something pretty good. So fingers crossed for that. 
you joined into my channel today and you're not subscribed and you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would definitely love to have you along for the weekly landscape photography adventures. All right, everybody, have a great week. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourself. And we'll see you next Monday. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to day two at Vista View Park. I always say I can do better and here I am. But we definitely have better conditions in the sky today. Right now we have bright blue skies, big fluffy white clouds, a little bit of mood going on too. And uh, got about an hour and a half until sunrise. Came out here with my friend Mozam. He's back here somewhere. Uh, Mozam recently had eye surgery and hasn't been able to be out with his camera in the last few weeks. So he's starting to feel better and uh, thought it'd be nice for him to get out. I'm definitely glad he joined me today. And I'm gonna try to get him to send me a couple of his best photos from today. I'll put those up at the end of the video, as well as my photos from day two. So anyway, thanks again, guys, for tuning in. Let me know which photos you like the best. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you guys next Monday. Bye. <laughs>